y'all so in this video today you are going to learn how to make a beautiful and simple bow bandeau so all you'll need are some scissors or you can have a fabric cutter you need a half a yard of whatever fabric you want to use and then you need some fabric glue and a sewing machine and then you will be good so please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe all right y'all peace all right, y'all, so take your half a yard of fabric and fold it hot dog style, aka long ways, and fold it that way four times. After you're done, please take your tape measure and then make sure it is straight. I do that by pinning it down. Then you're gonna take your fabric cutter and cut a straight line. You can also do this with fabric scissors. It just depends on what you're comfortable with. After you do this, make sure you get all of the frays and everything looks perfect for your bow bandeau. All right, y'all, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fabric and you're gonna hem your fabric and sew a straight line all the way to the end on all four sides. This is to ensure that there is no fraying and that your bow bandeau will look professional. So just do this and you'll be glad. So after you're done sewing, what you're gonna do is you're going to use your tape measure again to make sure that the fabric is the appropriate width. For me, my appropriate width was 19 inches. After that, basically you kind of center the fabric on the bandeau and you get ready to tie. You take some old fabric or an old fabric strip and then you tie it together really, really tight, okay? And after that, you're going to measure again to make sure it's perfect. It's really just kind of trial and error. For me, I decided to pin them to kind of get more of a measurement sense because I kind of wanted mine to be perfect. I didn't want one bow to be bigger than the other, so on and so forth. So I just kept measuring and I kept measuring. You know, this is just something I did. It's totally optional. You can do it if you want to, but it's just something that I chose to do. So after that, what you should do is just center it again, and then you place the tie on the bandeau, and then you should tie really, really tight once again. So tie it tight, tight, tight. You should tie it at least, you should tie it at least three or four times. And then measure. Make sure that both bows are the same width, the same length, so on and so forth. Mine weren't, so I chose to do it again. And then I decided to take it further into the middle because one bow was bigger than the other. And then I measured, and I measured, and I measured. Like I said, it's mostly just trial and error. It's something that you have to get used to. It can be extremely frustrating, but... So I finally figured out where I wanted my bow to be, so I am definitely putting my tie at the middle. For me, I found that I liked one bow to be bigger than the other because naturally one of your boobs is bigger than the other, so I kind of wanted it to match. So after you're done tying, what you should do is you should take your fabric cutter or your scissors and cut off the excess fabric. Make sure you tie it about two or three times just to be safe. You take the scissors as well and you clean up the frays and you clean up the extra fabric just to make sure that the bow bandeau is nice and neat. Then you just get look again for frays and keep checking for stains and make sure your stitches are extremely straight. If they're not extremely straight, that's fine, but you know, it'll be lacking in style, I guess you can say. So after you're done with that, you should take some fabric glue, which is totally optional, and you should fabric glue the bow bandeau down so it does not flop while you're in the pool or while you're out in public. A sturdy and steady bow bandeau is a good bow bandeau, in my opinion. So just take that fabric glue and press down, press down, press down on the puffs and the cups just to make sure you know it stays just cut and cut and cut all the frays away and make sure that the fabric glue does not get on the right side of the bow bandeau and make sure it does not bleed through the brand of fabric glue that I use for this particular bow bandeau was Aileen's fabric glue that tends to work better than liquid stitch liquid stitch is really good for you know pants and shorts and so on so just cut those extra frays and get those cut and you're done